the closer letter quoted that government has agreed to pay neutrality allowance. The, that letter couldn't have been different from what was in the MOU that was signed. Okay, I'm from Labour. I mean, if something is taken away from you, you can't engage in politics. Your human right has been suspended for one reason or the other. You guys go to court, human rights court, you get compensated. But when we went to Peru, the labor conference, one of the things we wanted to avoid is to deal with labor issues in silos. Because as the deputy minister stated, you solve one problem and then you create another problem. It's important that those whose rights have been suspended and who are being compensated with a neutrality allowance, we make it comprehensive. And here I have a list. The Electoral Commission, they are not supposed to do politics. Our members are there. They ought to be compensated with neutrality allowance. The National Media Commission, the National uh, Commission for Civic Education. If I have about 13, 36 of such institutions in the public sector that are not members of CLOSA, that are our members, in the interest of fairness, this neutrality allowance ought to apply to them. And we will make sure that it applies to them. Mm. That one, you can take my word for it.